Hello everybody and welcome, this is Adrian, thank you so much for joining me today, it's gonna be time for some Europa Universe Sauce 4 as Russia in our third rum campaign. Okay, so we're trying to uh, get 90% trade power here in the White Sea node. We have a shit ton of money here, but we do need a little more... Um... A little more trade power, we're trying to get power here. And we're about to unlock the stock exchange, which is local trade power plus 125%. So perhaps that will do the trick. I'm not sure. Um, we have a 644 leader. We're going to keep re-electing him if we can. Let's go and strengthen the government a little bit. We have like 50% absolutism, which is actually pretty incredible. That's kind of cool. I can go for a constitutional republic. Let's do it for the autonomy. We get a we get a, a Duma. Oh yeah, we get a state Duma. Cool. Interesting. Holy crap, we get for six years. We get discipline plus ten percent. Damn son. Hey, look at that. We just got an achievement. Total control. Own 100 or more provinces with no local autonomy or unrest. Fascinating. Hmm. Let's see. How else do we get trade power in this place? I don't know. Perhaps we give some stuff to the burgers. That might do it. That might do it. Let's see. Yeah, because it's, it's local trade power plus 50%, right? Let's try it. We need 90% control to get the achievement. Damn. Um, I guess we could build more light ships. That would also work. Let's build like another 21 or so. We don't have a lot of sailors, however. How much how many sailors would this need? Alright, fine. Let's do it in batches of 10. Yeah, not enough sailors. Okay. Looks like it costs about 500 sailors, maybe? So 50 per light ship. Alright. Hmm. Eighty-nine percent trade power? Yeah, maybe perhaps we'll just give all this crap to um to the burgers. And we'll just see how that goes. It's not like it hurts, right? Actually, there are some good provinces in here. Yep. We're about to get it. Let's grab that. Let's make sure. Are we funding the military at the moment? Yes, we are. Let's decrease the military spending. Let's decrease military spending. And we're going to build these guys, the stock exchanges. That will definitely do it. I know it will. Because <clears throat> if shit, if that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. <clears throat> yeah. I'm actually glad we're still making money and stuff. That's, that's nice. <clears throat> Excellent. Trade power, give it to me. Give it to me. I wouldn't mind another merchant. I wouldn't mind somebody in like Siberia or something. That might not be a bad idea. 
Um, or the, well, not necessarily, I don't know, not necessarily the Baltic. Not necessarily the Baltic, that's, yeah, it's not entirely true. We're literally, like, right there, like, 89% control. Incredible. Man, I don't even, I don't even have inflation, are you kidding me? I don't even have inflation. I got another Inquisitor right after the previous guy died. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I want to invade this dude. The question is when? Mm. Aggressive expansion with uh, the Ottomans. That's it, though. Lithuania. Let me tell you that I desire this land. Like, just all of this. Like, everything that's, like, possibly to the east of the Oder. That's, like, modern-day Poland right now, isn't it? Like, you just gotta get rid of, like, that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so, let's, uh, first... Hmm, let's actually consider options. I'm, I'm still trying to get this damn achievement first, before we go to war again. <laughs> um... This also should probably do it. We go to the White Sea. This should increase our trade power. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's actually grab... Grab an Admiral. Believe it or not, having Admirals with Maneuver actually does increase your, your trade power gain from light ships. Most people don't know that. So as soon as these guys arrive here in this trade node, let's see what happens. Let's see. You got a question from the Twitch chat. Did we start as Novgorod? Yes, we did. Hey, there we go. 90% trade power, we got frozen assets. And just to prove it to you, you can come down here. We got total control, frozen assets, Grist Expander, Golden Age, or Golden Empire. Kick ass. Alright. Um, but yes, we did start as Novgorod. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Damn, Lithuania's got 12,000 men, whereas Moldavia doesn't? What the hell? Still trying to think, you know, figure out Finland. Maybe, maybe we will just keep Finland there. That probably sounds good. All right, let's uh, let's prepare for war. We got a little bit of manpower going. Let us prepare for combat. Let's come over here. Let's invade the Commonwealth. We're gonna invade for all their stuff. We're gonna reelect one more time because I think our heir is getting a little old, or our king, or president, whatever the hell you call it. Why the hell is he a president? Believe it or not, I was actually reading about the uh, the Russian Civil War and the Russian Revolution the other day. It interested me. I needed to learn more. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. Okay, so who's allied to Austria? Bohemia? Great Britain. This means we have to battle Great Britain's fleet. Yeah, that's a problem. Because we don't have one. We don't have a fleet. I barely have any sailors, as it is. Great Britain has 30, 29 heavies, 59 lights, and 50 transports. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, why don't I have you go home at war? How strong are we? I'll be very strong. We're hitting on all these guys of tech. Alright. Well, let's do it. Let's invade. Um... I have three field armies. We're gonna invade Poland first. Let's invade Poland first. Brandenburg, I'll come for you later. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. Now, we could vassalize the Commonwealth himself and conquer all of this, but I think it's just easier because we already have Lithuania as a loyal vassal. We'll just keep Lithuania. I think it just makes it easier for me. Interesting. The Emperor will not protect this guy. What? You're part of the Empire? 
Oh, yeah, they're part of the empire because of Austria, probably. So we're fighting Great Britain, Switzerland, Memmingen, and Austria. That's it. Yeah, that doesn't scare me very much. Noble plot? This is concerning? Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's grab... Liturgical reform. Um, I'll actually take the Republican tradition. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need the, uh, Patriarch Authority. Just don't. I don't need it. We haven't really done much with the Patriarch to be, you know, to be perfectly honest. Ooh. So Bohemia did join. It said that he wouldn't honor the call, but he did. So we're outnumbered. Okay. Let's have some fun then, folks. You went engaged here. You took a minus one. Call the third von Habsburg a four three two. We're gonna need reinforcements unless, uh, yeah. Hey, military technology costs. I'll take it. Oh my god, that was a stack wipe. Ow. Then how strong are we, man? For real. That was a stack wipe of all things. Damn, son. How's that possible? I mean, I knew we would win the win the you know the, the land campaign, but not that quickly. Jesus. Holy crap, dude, we just smashed these guys' troops. They just crumble. Look at that. That is incredible. They cannot withstand the power of the dark side. That's crazy, man. Let's take another uh, take another ability here. They cannot withstand the power of the dark side. Our treatment cost. I don't, I don't. We don't even need any of these. <laughs> I guess fort maintenance on border with rival will do. Let's go siege down Vienna. Do I have a level? Wow, well, who do I have as a siege leader? Actually, it's a good question. This is like this is too easy. Like I, I refuse to believe that we are this strong. <laughs> You know? Like, we're supposed to be numerous, but not this strong. This is pretty strong. Ooh, let's take a look at those troops. They look cool. This was the golden age of empires, man. Actually, it was usually after 1700, but still, I like these unit graphics. Trade range, huh? Nope, can't support you, man. Sorry, Moldavia. Bye-bye. Can't support that. We've killed 81,000 men to lose only 44. Now we have some like Pirates of the Caribbean mu music. We are capped out once again. Why does this not surprise me? Only 200 to increase stability from 2 to 3. Can you believe that? Oh. It's not a lot. Yeah, my enthusiasm is going down. Yeah, sure. Sure, man. Sure. Oh, you bastard. You got a good roll in the fire phase. That's why. These troops are just annihilated. Look at this. We kill we kill like 25, 30,000 to lose nothing. Incredible, man. Although we are draining manpower because of sieges, which is unfortunate, but could be worse. Could be worse. Go to Praha. Oh, damn. Not mean to abandon that siege. That was unfortunate. Uh, 
Um, the British are going to go rampant, so we'll go and attack them. Can I go Bohemia to leave? Anybody want to leave? Not yet. Nope. Damn, dude. We have we have 13 more discipline than the enemy. That's like scary. It's actually terrifying. <clears throat> yeah, Protestant zealots. Well, they're already in my territory. They're they're just gonna rampage everywhere, so we'll just leave them to it. Although we're running out of manpower, so we should keep that in mind. Then again, I think we're going to win this war here pretty soon. Let's go Bohemia out of here first. We don't want him in here too long. There's not much I can do about the British other than just oppose their troops where I can. But, I mean, even though he does have these guys running around the place, those occupations aren't worth much. Tixarkasia, I guess that might mean something. No, oh, what? <laughs> Did Spain join in again? Spain, you bastard. He seems to have a liking for me. He actually joined our war again. Alright, what do you say? What do you say, man? Actually, yeah, give up your core, too. That's what you get for helping out the Austrians, you bastard. Let's get this guy off there. Where is the British Army? Where'd they go? Like disappeared. Let's see, I get a question in Twitch chat. What is my government form? I am a federal constitutional, or I'm a constitutional republic. Yeah. I'm a constitutional republic. It's just a name though. Are you kidding me? This is 78 aggressive expansion and I don't get any coalition with anybody? Holy living shit. This is just OP, man. I wonder if I can give this to Moldavia. We'll give them what's left of Hungary. Uh, unlikely with that much aggressive expansion, but I guess we'll try it. We'll give them what's left of Hungary. I mean, because Hungary don't got any damn cores. I, I would have given Hungary the cores if, if he had them. You know? Battle through Kasia. Moldavia? Nope, costs too much. This is an 86, um, 86 piece deal. Okay, so we'll go for Lithuania then, because that was the primary object of this war. We'll give all of Lithuania. We'll we'll give all of Poland to Lithuania. Yeah. Let's see, Twitch chat says you should take all the territory yourself and just give it to Lithuania after for cheaper war score. I don't think that actually is probably going to apply. Um, I am a little curious about the aggressive expansion thing. But, I mean, I, it's, I am still taking the territory. It's not like they're not dependents of me or dependencies of mine, you know. 
I'm pretty sure not much has changed by, uh, wow, holy shit. I'm pretty sure not much has changed by me... By me giving the territory to Lithuania just outright. I don't think there's there's much of a difference. Plus, I mean, like, he... Oh no, he, I thought he did have claims over here. I guess he doesn't. Oh well. Let's make much of a difference. What are we going to do with the British, though? Excellent. Am I willing to attack my leans? Uh, yeah, actually I am. I am. If it's gonna end this war, then I am. Yeah, we'll kick his ass probably. We just, we, our troops are just so much better, that's the thing. Our troops are just that good. Where did this stack come from? Did they take some damage or something? What, what happened? All right. Well, yeah, we'll give we'll give the rest of uh, Hungary to Moldavia some other time. Not now. Beautiful. Let's grab. This is a full. No, this is a half stack. That's what it is. These guys got split. We'll send you to Saint Petersburg. We'll grab you guys. We'll grab you, Best Rabia. Captain Admin again. Look at that, we don't even generate war exhaustion from that anymore. We don't generate war exhaustion from any wars. Oh, that was plenty of development, holy shit. <laughs> that was quite a bit, that was quite a bit. Let's pay off some debt for our subjects. That comes in handy, I'm glad they took some debt so we can pay it off for them. Unhappiness among the clergy? The clergy. De clergy. Um, yeah, who do we annex? Do we annex anybody? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, any reason why I didn't get an, you know, any aggressive expansion with these guys? I don't know. I can evade Serbia now. Let's force Milan and Celestia to break their alliances, though. Bring me Peter Pan. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna invade Serbia, make a Yugo, make, make it you know a nice Yugoslavia down here. Moldavia is nice and big. Can I fully annex Serbia in one war? No. Well, not necessarily. That's actually not entirely true. Maybe I could. If I had a certain CB, I could. Which we get next... Um, yeah, we get those CBs soon. Okay. Let's be at peace for a while. I should spend a crap ton of money on manpower. Just because I got nothing else to spend this money on. Excellent. And I think it's time for a break here. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.